Happy middle of the week, scientists. How is your Wednesday going? Ah, muy bien. I'm glad it's going well for many of you. I've been looking forward to seeing you today because I found an experiment for us to do. Yesterday, I had become curious about how germs really spread. This was after we had done a sketch of the virus. And we're doing all of this research to answer the question, why do we have to wear our masks like that? We've already talked about water droplets, germs, and air. And the experiment that I found for us will, hopefully, show us how germs can be passed from one person to another. I was thinking I would show you first, and then after I'm done, we can write down what I did and the materials needed to do this experiment into our notebooks. What do you think? Buenísimo. Right now, I'm going to pretend that I'm sick, and I'm going to do some things that you should not do while you're sick. But these things will show you how quickly germs can spread and why we do certain things to prevent spreading them. Are you ready to make some observations? Muy bien. Let's get started. And remember, scientists, this is just an experiment to show us how germs can spread. This experiment isn't perfect, but it helps us understand things a bit more. <coughs> oh my goodness. Well, I got things to do. I'm gonna do some coloring. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab some of this glue. Ooh. Oh, I can't open it, that's okay. Oh, look at this. I wonder what I can do with this. Mmm, a bowl, some oil, wow. So many things to explore. Mmm, oh, that's kind of wet now. Hmm. What else can I touch? Ooh, my notebook. Ooh, I just love touching everything. <coughs> <Ooh. laughs> now, scientists, I'm going to wash my hands incorrectly. And we're going to take a look at my hands after I'm done washing them. That feels clean. So, what do you think? <laughs> ay, 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 scientists, there's still some germs on my hands. Did you notice how earlier, just how quickly some of these germs spread after I coughed into my hands? Yes, they spread super quickly. And this isn't really a problem if I'm the only person that's going to touch these items. And also this is an experiment. But if this were real and somebody were to come in and touch these things, I could see how, easily it is, how easy it is to get sick from germs. Well, I'm going to wash my hands the correct way and make sure to get all the germs off. Bueno, much better. <laughs> so scientists, what did you observe? See, I coughed into my hands and then I touched things and the germs spread to them. You all use your sense of sight to observe this experiment, but I wanted to take the time to write down the materials I use and some steps so that you can later use your sense of touch to do this experiment yourself. So scientists, you will need your notebooks and a writing utensil to do this. Let's take a moment to take out our materials. Oh, no germs on this one. Bueno, I'm ready. Let's start by writing the date, numbering our page, and I'm also going to have us write the title. It will be Viruses Experiment. You can copy me as I write. January 27th, 2021. And this is page seven. And our title is Viruses Experiment. All right. Eso. Next, we'll write what I used in the experiment. If you do the experiment on your own, I suggest putting some paper or another protective material on the surface you'll be using so that if you make a mess, it'll be easier to clean up. Scientists run experiments, but we also clean up after we're done. Okay, so I used baby oil, glitter, and various items that can be cleaned. Let's, uh, why don't you go ahead and write those down? 
I have materials first, and that way I know what all of these things are for. Materials, baby oil, glitter, various items. And my students that are still learning how to write, you can draw these items too. So, great, we've written down the materials and now we can write the steps. Well, let me think back, because you didn't see how I made the glitter germs. First, I rubbed some of the baby oil on my hands, and then I had somebody help me sprinkle some of the glitter into my hands. Then, I touched everything like I usually would. I already have these written down in my notebook, but you can go ahead and follow along and copy them. You can always pause the video to make sure you get everything. So I wrote steps. One, rub oil on hands. Two, sprinkle glitter on hands. Three, touch everything. <laughs> hmm. I think a step that should always be done at the end is to clean up and wash your hands. Well, scientists, it looks like our time for today is up. What did you learn today about germs from the experiment? Muy bien, you could add that into your notebook too so you can remember your learning. If you do the experiment later, please record it and send it to us by using the submission link. I would love to see how it goes for you. I'm hoping you get to experience what it's like to run an experiment. Tomorrow, we will learn about a scientist who has been running experiments to help us learn more about COVID-19 as well as one of the vaccines that came out. Nos vemos entonces.